Does Chase Elliott need to move on from Alan Gustafson? Chase Elliott fans are truly unhinged, and I know that they're all old Dale Jr. fans because it's never the driver's fault, it's always the crew chief's fault or somebody else's fault. And in this situation, maybe it is Alan's fault for running out of fuel uh, on Sunday at Watkins Glen, or maybe it's somebody within the team because Alan said he got the wrong information. Either way, there was a breakdown in communication, clearly, and they miscalculated. Unfortunate, but at the same time, Chase Elliott wouldn't be in the position that he's in if it wasn't for him going out and getting hurt snowboarding and then letting the intrusive thoughts winning at the Coke 600 and hooking Denny Hamlin and putting him into the wall. If none of that happens, this is probably a pretty decent year for Chase Elliott, considering all the speed that Hendrick Motorsports had at the beginning of the year. He probably picks up a win or two if he is actually in the car. Instead, he's fighting for his playoff life this coming weekend in Daytona with the chances of most likely not making it into the playoffs for, I think, the first time in his career, if I'm being correct. But this has Chase Elliott fans calling for Alan Gustafson's head, and I just absolutely do not understand that. This guy has 38 career Cup Series wins. He has a 2020 title with Chase Elliott, and they want him replaced. And it makes no sense because the only person with more wins than him right now amongst active crew chiefs is Rodney Childers. Two crew chiefs have more uh, championships than him. With two, he has one. He has the most popular driver in the sport. He has a pretty decent driver at that. They're coming off a year where they had the most wins in the Cup Series last season with five. And now all of a sudden, because Chase Elliott is completely broken this year in terms of just consistency, they want him replaced. The fact that they are even were even in the conversation to point their way in is testament to Allen being able to put together a good race car for Chase Elliott, one that's consistent enough for Chase to be able to almost point his way in if it wasn't for that wreck at Michigan, and then obviously running out of fuel at Watkins Glen hurts him as well. But assume that he finishes in the top 10 at Michigan and then goes to the road course at Indianapolis, finishes second, and then if he cannot run out of fuel on Sunday at Watkins Glen, he's knocking on the door of pointing his way in. Instead, he now heads to Daytona, where he's the odds-on favorite to win the race, which I absolutely do not understand at 11-1. to 1. Do not bet that. But, yeah, it's Alan Gustafson is not the problem. The problem is that this is just a really tumultuous season for Chase Elliott and that nine team. They've never been able to get into a groove. They kind of started to maybe try to, and then he gets suspended for a race at the Coke 600. And then since then, they've had good runs. I mean, they just came off a second-place finish at Indianapolis two weeks ago. But they just haven't had that, like, race-winning speed. Meanwhile... Kyle Larson and William Byron have both been able to prove that they, or show that they have race winning speed. They haven't necessarily had the wins uh, that they would like to have at this point. William Byron does. Kyle Larson's still looking for a few more. So the speed is there at Hendrick. And it's not going anywhere, and Chase isn't going anywhere either. I just find the the outrage of wanting Chase Elliott re or Alan Gustafson replaced to just be rather funny. And it cracks me up because... You look at it, and fans are complaining that Allen's only ever won 38 races with a very young Kyle Busch, an aging Mark Martin, who he almost took to a championship, an aging Jeff Gordon, who was on his way out when Allen got him, almost took him to a championship, and then he gets Chase Elliott, and guess what? Takes him to a championship. Allen Gustafson is a great crew chief, and there's not another crew chief out there you can find right now that can replace him. And I find it really hilarious that these unhinged fans are like, oh, we want Cliff Daniels to move off of Kyle Larson's car over to the nine car of Chase Elliott. That's never happening. Hendrick isn't moving their best crew chief at the moment off of their number one driver. And I know that hurts for Chase Elliott fans to hear, but Kyle Larson is the number one driver at that team. And even this season, William Byron's the number two driver at that team. Chase Elliott is a distant third at the moment, and they're not getting Rudy Fugel, they're not getting Cliff Daniels, and you're not going to find a crew chief on the free agent market or anywhere right now that is better than Alan Gustafson, unless you go out and try to hire Rodney Childers, maybe an Adam Stevens, but those guys aren't leaving their current team. So you're stuck with Alan Gustafson, and that's a great person to be stuck with. The fact that they're complaining, is just rather humorous to me. So Chase Elliott fans, you just need to relax. Take that the Aaron Rodgers approach, right? R-E-L-A-X, relax. Just calm down. If you don't make it into the playoffs this season, it's not the end of the world. And you probably don't deserve there to be there anyways. Recoup, get together, get back next year, and then just try to do it again and run it back like it's 2020 or 2021. 
So at the end of the day, Allen Gustafson is not the problem. Chase Elliott's going to be fine. Allen's going to be fine. They're going to come back next year. They'll probably win some races. They can recoup over the final 10 races of this season, and they can all come back and be fine and happy, and it'll be rainbows and lollipops for everybody, and all the Chase Elliott fans can calm down, and he still has the opportunity to win a race or multiple races this season. You still have the Roval coming up, which he's very good at. You still have a few other tracks that he's won on before and places where Hendrick has been strong at at the beginning of the season. Obviously, things change throughout the year. But if you're a Chase Elliott fan, just relax. It's going to be okay. Alan Gustafson is not the problem. I know it's never Chase's fault, although it is sometimes, specifically this year. Alan does make, does he make the wrong calls at times? Absolutely. You know who else makes the wrong calls at times? Every other crew chief on a box. So you don't have to complain that Allen is, he's the worst at, you know, pitch strategy or whatever. Every other fan of another driver says the same thing about their crew chief because it's so easy to be a revisionist history. It's so easy to be a revisionist historian after the race is over to be like, oh, you should have pitted there. Well, if we would have known that in the moment, yeah, probably would have pitted there. But you don't know that and you got to fly by the seat of your pants sometimes. And sometimes you get it wrong. I get it. Oh, I should have a Coke 600 victory. We know that was potentially a bad call. It happens. It happens sometimes. It happened to Martin Truex Jr. last year with James Small. And look at them now. They're a championship favorite at this point. They have three wins. Four wins? Three wins? Doesn't matter. They have multiple wins. Chase Elliott fans, you're going to be fine. Chase is fine. Allen's fine. Everybody's going to get back together. It's going to be fine. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard. Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at BreakHardBlog.